exciting thing that I learned from the IPM conference, the French, uh, they started experimenting with, uh, this is a permethrin impregnated polyethylene mosquito netting. Uh, this was a really cool thing. They were doing it in controlled circumstances where they were seeing reinfestations happening uh, in some of their textiles in very controlled fashion. They were actually able to stop and arrest uh, some carpet beetle larvae. Very cool. I took the idea and ran with it and said, you know what? I'm going to buy up as much as I can on eBay. You can't buy it. They don't market to the United States. This is a product that's used in the developing country very effectively to knock down mosquito-borne illnesses. It's distributed very widely. It can be made very cheaply. Um, and we sent it uh, to the Strauss Center for Conservation. They did uh, audit tests, and the material got an A. No problem. Not, not off-gas. Um, and so uh, we knew that there was some preliminary, we could buy it cheaply. I bought a bale, this is like something you would think they'd drop out of a helicopter, and bought like a bale of 50 of these things, and I cut them all down so I could just have sheets of it, and uh, put them on rolls, and then just started deploying. Deployed 5,000 square feet of this at multiple sites uh, throughout New Hampshire and Massachusetts. And we enclosed areas, so there's a lot of like, you saw me with the mask and so forth, we had one, I have one uh, staff, a fellow staff member, who was very allergic and didn't have a nice interaction with the material. And so we, uh, we erred on the side of caution, and we, I had no problem. We put gloves and long sleeves on, and just being careful was well enough. It is a household product. People use it in their bedrooms you know, in developing countries. So it really isn't dangerous, but because we had that one interaction, we were just going to be careful. Uh, so we enclosed. This is the big problem, right? So we have, uh, when we come in, we've got these infestations going on in the uh, on-display stuff, the high-profile, beautiful furnishings that people are coming to see. And we just can't have that stuff crawling, right? So we do these targeted big efforts to pull those rugs out, get the furniture out, treat that. In the meantime, up in the uh, attic, in the, uh, in the closets, we have stores and stores of blankets. And you know, right on the site at the Historic House Museum, a session, not a session, we don't know. We can't get rid of it. You know, we can't keep it. We don't know what to do. Uh, and so what's happening is that these infestations that we can't address right away, we, uh, we treat the stuff downstairs in a beautiful spot, and then uh, we treat and return, and meanwhile, they're still hanging out up in the attic, just waiting to come back down. We're seeing reinfestation happen. And a nine-month turnaround, this giant rug that was incredibly difficult to, to do. So the idea with this material, we're testing, tested this last season. We're going to continue on this next season. I hope to publish on it. Um, we're going to try and encapsulate uh, infested areas. That's my 10? Perfect. We're going to try and encapsulate infested areas uh, in our storehouses to try and hold it off. It's not a solution, it, but, the, but the shelf life on this uh, uh, efficacy is up to seven years. Now, that's a lot of time. If we can just hold that off, knowing that, yes, it's probably getting chewed, but we're preventing this reinfestation, it gives us the time to take breath rather than this nine-month turnaround. Um, and so we apply it in many different places, even stuff on view, slipped it under rugs, and guess what? Started catching things. All right, now I get the chills. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, webbing clothes moth. Carpet beetle. And the most exciting of all, this one was by accident. But that is it's a little furniture beetle, a wood boring beetle. I have enclosed an area of shelving that had textiles, and I thought, well, it's a problem for moths. They also had wooden artifacts in there, had these frames in there. I didn't know that there was an active furniture beetle infestation going on. We enclosed the whole area, and we interrupted a furniture beetle emergence. They flew out, hit the net, and dropped by the dozen.